Hey, Collective Hey. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I missed you guys, okay? Um, let's go ahead and jump in. Shout out to everyone that has the like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Thank you guys for the super thanks. Give me some messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Give me some messages for the collective. Prosperity is here, okay? Abundance and success. April 2nd might be significant um, for somebody. I'm also picking up February 7th, okay? February 7th uh, may also be significant for somebody. But again, we are seeing uh, prosperity here for somebody you are entering a season of abundance, okay? Look how everything has blossomed. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but everything has blossomed. It's like springtime uh, on this photo, okay? So I feel like for somebody around springtime or bet between now and spring, okay, some form of wealth and abundance, okay, is gonna manifest for you. I'm also picking up for somebody. This is this could be just blessings coming, you know, in many different ways, many different forms, okay? Which takes me to the word wealth because wealth is not just money. The same with abundance, okay? Abundance is 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 not just uh, a level of financial success. This could manifest as unexpected gifts uh for somebody. This could also be um Somebody might be buying a property, you might be making an investment or you've made an investment and you finna reap from the investment, okay? This could be an inheritance, okay? For somebody, you just finna be rewarded, okay? You, you're gonna, there are seeds that you've sown, okay? You finna bear those fruit. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Wow, this is like the justice card. March 6th could be significant or March 9th, okay? For somebody, you got some good news coming, okay? For somebody, you might be dealing with like something with court regarding a property or regarding some type of money, okay? You got good news coming. This says justice, harmony, uh, and solutions, okay? So for somebody, it's some type of problem that you're dealing with or it's something that you're dealing with where uh, it's like you need a solution to your problem. It's something you need God to fix. It's like um, almost like any other justice card, right? Fairness is being brought to a situation here. Some, some type of fairness, okay? If you've had some type of injustice collective, Things are about to balance out for you. This could be some type of work or this could be a, a personal conflict that you're dealing with, okay? But something getting ready to clear up. There's also, this is not just any card. This is a card of one of the archangels, okay? So there is an archangel collective that is working on your behalf. We have shamanic healer, okay? Uh, January 7th could be significant for somebody or uh, April 4th. We said April 2nd or April 4th, okay? 
For someone, you come from a shaman's uh, lineage here with this shamanic healer. You are a shamanic healer. You have the ability to heal others and heal yourself collective. For somebody, you might be in some type of waiting period, right? Like you, you could be like, um, you might feel stagnant or you might feel uh, that you are not progressing at this time. But it's like God is cleaning you up. God is bringing you into alignment, okay? You are coming into alignment, collective. You, you coming onto this frequency of prosperity. Everything is frequency. This literally flipped back on my hand, hold on, and fell, but balance is here. This is confirmation, center energy, self-care. For somebody, you definitely isolated, I feel like, or you might, again, you might feel like uh, things are stagnant. Things are not really, you know, progressing for you right now. But this is the time where things are balancing out for you, actually. Things are working in your favor. The archangels are working behind the scenes. This is your time to center your energy, pour into you. Do your self-care, okay? Let me get one more. Give me one more for the collective. Wow, this wanted to come out. Achievement. Give me one more for the collective. Animal totems are here. Let me scoot these down some so I can fit one more. This is confirmation. This this is going back to shamanic healer, okay? With this animal totems. You have the ability to tap into or and, and work with uh certain animals energies at this time collective. For somebody you seeing certain animals, okay? You you seeing certain animals here with, with animal totems, okay? It's like for some of y'all, that's your sign to tap into that uh animal's energy. That an that animal is actually here to assist you collective. It's like again, I can't really how do I explain it? Like, um what did I say? Everything is frequency. Everything carries uh its own unique energy collective, right? So each animal collective, they have their own unique energy, right? So it's kind of like, again, that's your confirmation if you constantly see the same animal or if you constantly see this same sign, you need to start paying attention. It's some type of spirit message, okay? Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. So spirit messages are bestowed upon these uh, animals. Okay. So even if, so it's like, pay attention. If you keep seeing uh, a deer, right, then you need to kind of tap into that deer's energy. What, what messages come along with deers? You know, what do it mean when you see a deer, you know, look into things like that. Let me pull, let me find some for y'all. Hold on really quick. So let me see. Okay. So this says on this card, let me try to hold the card and read this. Can y'all see that? It says on this card, for example, okay. The leopard represents great personal power and grace. 
The owl shares wisdom and clairvoyance. Dear medicine brings new perceptions and enhanced physical senses, okay? The fox vibrates with sexual energy, fertility, and feminine expression. The hawk bears messages about your life purpose and visionary powers, okay? From insects to elephants, the world is filled with endless examples of helpful energies from nature. Be open to their many blessings, okay? For somebody, again, you are being blessed with, with um, these animal totems, okay? Pay attention to the animal totems that are around you, collective. And then at the bottom, I'm seeing prophets and ancient seers, okay? Prophets and ancient seers. So for somebody, you are definitely an ancient seer or you are a prophet. You are clairvoyant. You have a spiritual gift. What are we going to use to clarify? But not really clarify. Let's just use this to get some more messages. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. All right, we got two, but I'm going to take the one off top, okay? So we got the Buddha prepares and we see in the chess game, okay? I'm going to just take the one off top. This is falling under prosperity, abundance, and success. For somebody, you need to wait on some type of important information. You need to wait on important information. The students in the background, the Buddha is the teacher. The students are waiting on the teacher to speak. For somebody, you need to wait on some type of communication. There is some type of communication that's gone... Uh, you're going to receive some type of communication about some form of prosperity, some form of abundance or success. Whoa, that just flew right out. In Crescent Moon, wow, this was actually uh, just at the bottom collective when the Buddha Prepares came out. <laughs> which is actually dope. It came right back out. But this is the uh, Six of Keys. And actually, can you see on the card good? Yeah, y'all can see. Um, look how the colors are in alignment. Look at how the uh, Justice card has the purple in it, right? And then look at the Six of Keys, right? The Increscent Moon. It has the purple. Something significant about the color purple or lavender okay but this is dope because it's, it's like this card this in crescent moon is representing this prosperity card this is all about uh this is also i believe the waxing moon if i'm not mistaken okay so that might be significant for somebody okay but this card is definitely about uh, abundance and growth. The stars being aligned, okay? So it's time for you to reap something. There is a great opportunity collective that you have coming. Again, the stars are literally aligned. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So that makes sense with animal totems. That's why a lot of you guys are, are seeing animal totems all around you because the stars are aligned. It is your time for somebody. For somebody, you might be stepping into like a position of status or prestige, okay? <laughs> uh, with this increscent moon, you might have a skill, you might have a talent, you might have a gift, okay? Maybe you have mastered your craft, you've mastered your, your skill, okay? Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective.
community is here with the eight of roses falling under this shamanic healer, okay? Shamanic healer. And I'm seeing paths unknown at the bottom. Two eights here. Uh, the number 88 might be significant for somebody, okay? Or maybe you're seeing 88 or you are seeing uh, 888, okay? But again, community is here. For somebody, you, you, you have a lot of support and you don't even know it. You have literally support around you. For somebody, your, your name is being mentioned in rooms that you are not in, okay? Look at this seat here. There's an empty seat here with a table. This, that's exactly what this card is giving. Your name is being mentioned collective in rooms that you are not even in. People are literally having conversations about you or about your talent, about your gift, about your skill. For somebody, you're going to rejoin your tribe or you finna, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the shamanic healer. For somebody, you finna join a tribe of healers. You are joining collective, your tribe of healers, okay? There is a seat waiting on you, literally. This could also come in forms of like, for somebody, you might be, uh, meeting new friends or meeting new people, okay? Be open to these connections, okay? The, the, it's like you are, again, the stars are aligned for you in this season, collective. So be open to the things and the people that are coming your way. For somebody, you might also be like... um You finna share again your gifts, your talents, your skills with others. For somebody, you've mastered many crafts. There are many things that you do and you gonna meet people who are just like you. You gonna meet people whose spirit resonate with yours. Some type of through through purpose or activity, you you getting ready to connect with others collective. And I'm also picking up a lot about something, something about past life, okay? Something about past life experiences or past life gifts, okay? Or you coming back into connection with people from past, a past life. Wow, this is dope, guys. Again, for somebody, the stars are aligned, okay? Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Oh, that was views of the ego. For somebody, you might have to cut somebody off. That card is about cutting people off. It's for some of y'all, it's people around y'all with ego. Ego will get you hurt every time. Ego will get you hurt every time. Stay away from people who have big egos. And I'm not going to say stay away from people with big egos because it's it's a fine line, okay? It's a fine line. It's okay to have a big ego, but you know, you have to have that balance. You have to have that balance. You have to know when to be humble. You have to know what to let go. You have to know what not to let get to you. You know what I'm saying? Because again, people with egos... A lot of times they are the ones that get can can get in a lot of shit because by allowing their egos to get to them, okay? Usually men, but women have egos too. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective.
I'm seeing the Queen of Scrolls and I'm seeing Journey, okay? I'm going to just take the Queen of Scrolls here. We'll see if Journey want to come back out. For somebody, there's an opportunity, okay? You have some type of opportunity. There's some type of paperwork. This could be a contract for somebody or for somebody, it's like you got the blueprint, okay? Or as... uh. <laughs> As um, as my girl Nicki Minaj say, you know what I'm saying? The pink prince, because the, the queen is here. The queen is here, okay? For somebody, you got the pink prince. Not the blueprint, okay, but the pink print. This is for a, a feminine energy. So I'm also picking up for somebody is like... It's again going back to the Buddha prepares. It's some something important. It's some type of important information you got coming. You might even meet this Queen of Scrolls if this is not you. This is a female that's gonna come with some type of important information. She have a higher mind, okay? She has the pink print. She gonna show you a different way, okay? Or either you going to show the people a different way. For somebody, I feel like this is a feminine energy that you going to meet if this is not you, okay? I feel like this female is going to bring some type of balance in your life. Or either, again, yeah, this could be again. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Community is here. We just talked about you meeting new people. For somebody, you great at communication. You might have excellent uh, written or verbal communication skills. There might be some type of communication project here that you're going to get some type of help from. You could also be a writer, okay? You might be publishing a book or publishing something, okay? The pink print. Whoever this female is, right? She finna help you. She got, she real deal got the, the, the blueprint. But again, it's a woman, so we gonna call it the pink print. This is somebody that's gonna show you the way, okay? I feel like to help you reach this level of abundance and success. This is somebody a part of your soul tribe. And this is all energy. So this could be a male with within his feminine energy, possibly. Okay. Give me one more. Give me one more, Holy Spirit, for the collective. The light of the world. We, wow, this is dope. So it started with a major arcana and it's ending with a major arcana here. The light of the world. You, for somebody, you definitely in your own zone. Like you in your own zone. Pay attention to what's going on outside. This falling on the animal totems. You're not gonna, you know, find animals running around your house, okay? But when you actually step outside, okay, you're going to begin to notice the signs and the synchronicities of all the things around you. For somebody, you have a gift or a talent. It's time for you to share it with the world, okay? You are the light. You attract darkness, okay? For somebody, that might be why you might be like, why I always go through this? I'm, I got a good heart, but I'm, I always got to go through this or I always got to go through that because you are the light you attract darkness it's nothing wrong with that the light drives out the darkness okay but I'm gonna close out this reading here guys even though I really don't want to but your girl is cooking and I'm 24 minutes in and I gotta go check on my meat in the oven okay so hit that thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed thank you guys for watching